What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and before we get started with the video, I want to sincerely thank MZR9MM for helping me out with my intro, so thank you for that. It is really great, and I hope you guys like it, so check out his channel, link in the description, and he may make you an intro if you ask. You may have to pay a small donation, but this guy really knows what he's doing, so on with the video. Now what I'll be showing you guys today is how to get a really cool Windows Phone 7 theme on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now there are a couple things that will keep me from using it on a day to day basis but it is a really cool novelty theme that you can show a Windows Phone 7 user and it is pretty cool. So it looks just like the Windows Phone 7 theme. It's got the board, live tiles and they seem to do quite well. Now there are a couple things that you'll need to know like on my iPod touch the camera doesn't work for some reason and and pretty much everything you open you get this beta version thing a uh, little pop-up which is really annoying and you actually get the full Windows Phone 7 experience and I mean full with no multitasking so when you click to multitask there's nothing it just freezes for a couple seconds <laughs> but, but it is really easy to switch between themes using an app called Backboard and you'll actually need to go into Cydia and install this backboard app no space in order to get it so as you can see it actually backs up your themes so you can easily switch between them so if I want to go to iOS I just click install and confirm and we can easily switch between themes now if you want to get this guys again download backboard and go ahead and open up Safari and actually before we head over to Safari go ahead and open up Backboard which looks just like this and we're gonna be creating a backup of our current theme configuration in case you don't like Windows Phone 7 theme which of course you won't and it'll just allow you to quickly switch between the themes so create a new backup whatever you may call it so backup 4 and create now I have several backups already and it takes fairly quickly and as you can see your backup is right there so the next thing we're gonna do is actually go into Safari and download the theme itself so we will be heading over to backboard and make sure you type it in exactly as I put it or get or actually see it in the description and you cannot copy and paste it you have to type it in guys so backboard colon forward slash forward slash HTTP colon forward slash forward slash wind w y n d repo dot google code dot com slash files slash o s seven that's a capital o capital s seven and then a capital b and lowercase e t a dot zip and then you'll click go now it'll take you straight to the backboard app and it'll ask you to download the OS 7 or theme and again this may actually take a while because it freezes backboard sometimes so you may have to go over it a few times and it's no problem but it is kind of a hassle but in the end you will get it so mine has frozen I'll just go back into it right now and if, if yours is not there you'll have to type it in and get it if you get a Safari download code make sure backboard is in front of the HTTP repo and it is a little buggy but there we go we have our OS 7 that's been downloaded so go ahead and click on it and click install but make sure you backed up your current theme configuration and it'll ask you to respring and go ahead and do that now we slide to unlock and here we are in the Windows Phone 7 theme so it's more of a novelty theme guys something that I show Windows Phone 7 user and thanks for watching guys that's how you get the Windows Phone 7 theme on your iOS device make sure to subscribe rate and comment so thanks for watching guys have fun real quick guys I forgot to mention how you would remove this theme you just go into backboard and you'd select your prior saved backup and click install and it'll ask you to respring and that's it you're back to normal and you can simply delete the theme from backboard and 
one more thing guys this thing this theme actually may be more usable in the future when it's out of beta so if, so if you're watching this in the future um, you actually might be able to use this as an OS that you would use for your iPhone or iPod touch without any bugginess so thanks for watching again bye bye